Mm -hmm. Okay, now I gotta get to the chat. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Waking up. Waking up. Just going to. I was just staring at the camera for like. 30 seconds mm -hmm. so just going to do some work today and hang out because i felt like it so that's what we're doing hello mr underpants i just call you mr underpants go back to my other screen how are you doing today Well, I'm just going to be working for a little while, and then I'm going to open this bag of plush that, um, hi, Vicky, what are you doing in here? Your dad would be super jealous, but he's still sleeping, but I'm just hanging out today. Just going to do some work, and then I'm going to open a bag of plush that I got Oh, I don't know, a couple months ago, I never opened, so I'm going to see what's inside of it. So, just hanging out. San Roman, hello. How are you doing? I don't think I've seen you before. So, what is everybody working on today? What is everybody doing today? I'm still trying to wake up. I need to get some more coffee in me. Hey, Chris. How are you doing? Yes, I do. I have some plush. Um, I got it a couple of months ago. It's it's supposed to be all Beanie Boos. Uh, I picked it up off of Facebook Market and never opened it. So I figured I'm still half asleep. I kind of slept in today. So I figured I might as well just get up, have some coffee, open up this bag of plush and get some work done and Decided to come hang out. I pre-ordered breakfast so I would wake up. Oh, how, where did you order from? That's a good idea, though. I have five Goodwill blue boxes I need to open. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that many, but... Yeah, I'm hoping there's some good ones in there. I don't know which ones the good ones are. Like, if I looked at them, I wouldn't know if they were, you know, a higher value than the others. But maybe you can help me out with that. It's probably not in Wisconsin. It's just a healthy, like, smoothie place. Oh, okay. We have a couple of those. I do love it. I, not smoothies, but I do, I love my shakes in the morning. I love shakes. I need to get some new ones because the last kind I got, I didn't really like the flavor. So I'm going to look for a different brand, but I do love shakes in the morning with my coffee, of course. But I believe they do have one of those, um, like, juice places. Not like, a, I guess it's kind of like a smoothie place, but I think they have one of those downtown. Not sure, though. Is it Merlin or Frost? They are money. Awesome. I can't wait. Let me show you how the bag. I can only see the top. I haven't been through it yet at all. So I can see what's on the top, but that's it. So it's a decent sized bag. That's, there's quite a few in there. And I completely forgot about it forever. And I just kind of woke up this morning and I was like, man, I never looked through that bag of Beanie Boos. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what's in there. But I'm going to list a few things first and just hang out. And then I'll go through them. I'm listing right now. Oh, I wish I had a picture of it on my computer so I could show you. It's very similar to Polly Pockets, but it's by a different company and it's not worth very much but it's just a really really cute little teapot set from 1995 
but I only have them on my phone. Let's see if I can get it up. Here, let me move that first. It's this cute little, can you see it? Yeah. Cute little set. It looks kind of like a Polly Pocket, but it's not. It's called Vivid Adventures. Definitely not worth a whole lot, like 10 bucks, but I just thought it was cute. I've only paid like a dollar or two for it, so I mean, at least I'm making a little bit of money back for it. Wrong screen. So yeah, I'll just be sitting here for a while doing some listings and then I'll open up the plush. I've never done a work live before, so I kind of wanted to see how that would go. See if I enjoyed it or not. I guess I could have just showed you on my eBay page, but. So, Tori Oreo, when are you going to come back to Wisconsin? Anytime soon? I know you got a lot of stuff going on, though. Oh, did, did, did your dad tell you that we got more chickens? is a chicken coop right now. Labor Day weekend. Yay! I can't wait to see you guys. I'm so excited. We're pretty sure this guy is the rooster. I cannot wait till they go out to the barn so I can have my workspace back and start organizing it. But they're so cute. They're so cute. They're my babies. Okay, go back before you poop on me. They should be out of here in the next uh, couple weeks, I would hope. They're getting big. They're flying already. So, But, yay, I cannot wait to see you. <laughs> I know they are. They're super cute. They're so much fun. Like, I come down in every morning and feed them, and their little heads pop, pop out of the box, and they're looking to see who's down here. It's so cute. I didn't think I was going to get more chickens. I, I was kind of just going to end it after last year's raccoon attack. But then I was like, nah, I'll give it one more try and see what happens. Oh my goodness, baby mice, two weeks old. <laughs> I don't really like mice, but at two weeks old, I bet they're pretty darn cute. <laughs> Are you with Diego right now? Big brother, what is going on? Thanks for coming in. I'm just hanging out. Nothing, nothing fantastic. I'm going to open up a, a bag of plush I got a couple months ago that I never opened. <laughs> plush, the spawn of Satan, as you would say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open those up and see, see what I got in there. Otherwise, I'm just hanging out working, trying to work anyways. Trying to list a few things. You have 16 of them? Holy Toledo. He's helping the baby demons. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> well, tell him I say hi. Um, 
I didn't even know you were on my YouTube channel, girl. I didn't even know you had me. Do you see my videos once in a while then? Hello, Grimes Fines. Thanks for coming in. I'm just hanging out today. Not doing anything exciting. Gonna open up a bag of plush that I bought a couple months ago and never opened. So, I'm gonna see what's in there. Other than that, I'm just sitting here drinking coffee right now. How are you doing? Get ready to take off to an auction. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I got some questions for you on some dog pose as well. I'll send you some pictures later on Instagram or... I uh, know I have you on Facebook, right? Yeah, maybe both. Been watching them a month ago, got busy, and now I've been watching them again. Aw, well, you're so sweet. Thank you for watching my videos. <laughs> I know it, it gets a hard, you know, to keep up on people's stuff. It you get everybody has lives, everybody's got to do their own stuff, you know. But thank you, I appreciate it. Same here, copy and then make a video. Yep, I'm gonna be editing my next garage sale video. I'm feeling so lazy right now. <laughs> I'll be totally honest about that one. I haven't done a video since Monday, so I want to try to get it out though by. Well, tomorrow I'm actually, tomorrow oh, I'm doing my first collab. That's going to be fun. So you guys have to watch for that video in the future next week. That video will be out. But I can't tell who I'm doing the collab with yet. But you all know who they are. So it, it should be a fun day. We're doing that tomorrow. I'm excited for that. Yes, we miss you too so much. You come down here, you can come back to the house and see all the disaster in the basement that I've caused over the last year. We have so much stuff down here. It was, Victoria, it's crazy. It's crazy. They lead Instagram. Too old to figure that newfangled tech out. <laughs> you know, I felt that way at first as well. It took me, oh gosh, a good six months until I was like, all right, now I understand the platform and I can do it now. And now I actually prefer it. I hate Facebook. I really do. I pretty much just stay on there for promotion and to talk to family and friends. But like, I really prefer Instagram because there's no drama. Sometimes you need to break. Yes, exactly. And that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm just, just, just chilling, just hanging out. TikTok is straight up nasty. Is it really? I has st I stopped posting on there. Are you getting like really nasty messages and stuff? I haven't been. I don't think I've posted anything for a little while. I'm not sure. Can't remember when the last time I posted on there. Hey, the bargain effect. How are you guys doing today? I'm just hanging out, drinking coffee right now. I'm gonna open a bag of plush in a little bit, but really just kind of sitting back chilling today and I just kind of wanted to come on YouTube and just hang out. It's really bad. TikTok? It's almost all sexual perverted. Really? Oh. Well, yeah. I'm glad I told my daughter to stop using that. I told her to stop using that a while ago because I heard some stuff about it, but then I didn't really hear anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it was like that. Wow, holy cow. Craziness. Oh, guys, I am. I'm just chilling today. I think that's what I like about Instagram the most is there's no drama, really, that of any kind that I've seen. That really sucks that TikTok is like that. Hmm. I think I'm going to probably just move all over to Instagram eventually and just stay off the rest of them. Vicky or Tori is a uh, Labor Day. That's September, right? I'm really bad with that stuff. I don't pay attention. I believe that's September. If you're still on. I was just thinking because we have brought.
fest and stuff here that we could go to. Well, maybe. I don't even know if they're still doing it. I would hope so. <gasps> what? Animal abuse and killing animals for views? What the heck? What is wrong with people? Oh my goodness. That's just bleh. That makes me sick. Around fair time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Around fair time. That would be a lot of fun. We'll have lots of fun. We'll find some stuff to do. So are you in Texas or Colorado right now? You're moving to Colorado, right? All right, I have to actually list something too. So if I'm just staring at the screen for a minute, that's why. Actually, you know what? It's going to be faster from my phone. I'll just do it from my phone quick. I should at least list something, right? You know what I hate, though? On, on eBay the most is when it says waiting for payment. It could sit there for a week or so like that, and then they don't pay, and it's so frustrating. Every time I look at that now, I'm like, God dang it, somebody needs to pay. Texas now, June 20th, we go to Colorado because I, oh yeah, yeah, did you, did you, your dad ask if there was going to be like a, a, a Zoom link or something that we can watch the graduation on? Hey Bobby, I did not go garage sailing today, which is a shock, I'm usually up early Thursday morning and getting out there, so I hope you find a lot of goodies, can't wait to see what you get. I'm just taking a break. After four days, you can cancel on eBay for non-payment with no penalty. Really? Wow. Good to know. I'm on a live. <laughs> Before you walk over here, I'm live. <laughs> but Victoria's here if you want to. She's not here, but she's in the chat if you want to come say hi. Come say hi to your sister. Here she is. Look at She's a big teenager now. Hold on, but let me finish this. Okay, so non-payment with no penalty after four days. Okay, yeah, I did not know that, so thank you. I will definitely be looking at that because this has been a couple days now, and it's super frustrating. I hate it. It was in the last... Okay, so it's just recent. That's why I didn't know about it. Okay, cool. There goes. Fame will be here, but then we'll also be... Because of people loud in the ceremony. Okay. She said, hi, Nefaya. There she is. <laughs> I know. Isn't she big? Look at what she said. <laughs> I know. She's not a little kid anymore. Oh, you did spell it wrong. She totally did. <laughs> That's okay. Just picked up a IBM Selectric. Oh, typewriter. Oh, what? Nice. Good job. Way to go, Bobby. Chevy, I'm live and you're in your underpants. <laughs> Don't come over here. <laughs> oh, my kids are coming down here. Do you want to come say hi to uh, Victoria? And come say hi to your sister? No, your big sister. Come here. Just don't show. Just, just don't show your underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Do not if he poops on me, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> oh my god, no, get him off. He's gonna poop on my sweatshirt. I just washed it. <gasps> Alright, alright, Tori. Here's your little brother. 
Oh my god, he's so big I can't even lift him up. <laughs> we got a family reunion going on here this morning. And I needed that today. I just needed to come and hang out with people today. I was just kind of feeling down. Like, mm. When's lunch? <laughs> you can poop on me. <laughs> I got already got pooped on once. I was on uh, somebody else's show and we were in the back chatting on the live stream and she, yeah, I got pooped on. No, big brother, they're not chicken nuggets. So funny that he's always had that hair. So he, I know it, we tried to buzz it for a while and he just wants it long. He's got a big mop on his head. You know how you feel? I feel down a lot, too. Yeah, it's, I don't know, to the last couple days, it's been really bad for me, and I just, so when I woke up, I was like, I'm just going to come hang out on YouTube and see who comes in and just chit-chat, and yeah, it makes you feel better to socialize a little bit, I think, especially when we do our job, and we're kind of, you know, we're kind of alone, work from home, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't know if you guys all have other jobs as well, but this is what I do full-time, so. Yeah, just a little down the last couple days. Well, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate that and saying something, too. We all need to make each other feel better sometimes. And now I have a rabbit. Get it, the little one. Well, you didn't want anyone to poop on you, so I brought the one that's potty trained. Oh, good. He gave me the one that was potty trained. <laughs> no, we have so many animals right now. It's crazy. The chickens will be going out to the barn soon, and these guys have their own area in the basement. They got their own area. Okay, you can have him now. Her. Her, sorry. She's going to be the future mom. Yes, she is. You're right. Oh. So, something that I heard the other day. Ooh, there goes my... It's all fuzzy. It's probably been fuzzy, though. Well, I guess it's not too bad. My internet always sucks. So something that I heard the other day, which I've noticed, and since I'm uh, pretty new to reselling, I'll just ask. So I heard that there's like a summer slowdown. Come on, come back into focus. Why aren't you focusing? Hello, focus. There it goes. <laughs> so I heard there's like a summer slowdown. Is that true? Because it, it really like the sales have really slowed down a lot over the last few weeks for sure. Although I had a really good day yesterday, but they have definitely like severely slowed down. So I've been just nonstop listing and I've been up late doing it. So I just made a video of an item that sells really good on eBay. Vintage underwear. You can make a lot of those. UM, PKGS. So, yeah, look for vintage underwear went out. I did not know that. All right. That is funny. Sent away a picture of a kitten I rescued. Oh, She just went back upstairs. She'll probably see it. It depends on what you are selling. Yeah. That's, you know, that's what I pretty much figured. So I'm kind of, I'm thinking when I go out tomorrow to go sourcing that I would just kind of uh, uh, look for, you know, I love vintage toys and plush and stuff like that. But, you know, obviously those don't sell that fast. So I'm going to just try to look for those things that are, I guess, what you call more of a bread and butter item. That's what you call it. See if they can get them out the door faster. But this is all still a learning experience for me. So it's all right. As long as I'm still making money, I'm cool. I don't think you put the link in though. Summers are better for you. Yeah, see, and I'm just so new to it too that I just don't think I have enough listings right now I, at least on ebay i'm facebook i'm good like i get sales on there all the time but um on ebay it's where it seriously slowed down but i just don't have that many on there so that's what i'm just kind of working towards right now is just to really get my ebay listings up 
and see if that, you know, makes a difference. Obviously, the more you have listed, the more, you know, you're going to sell. So that's kind of my goal right now. Hey, Jonathan. I'm just hanging out today, drinking coffee. Just wanted to come hang out with everybody. Feeling kind of down the last couple days, so I wanted to come see everybody and say hi and just kind of work, even though I haven't listed anything yet. And I got a bag of plush that I'm going to go through here in a minute. Hey, Greg, what's going on? Thanks for coming in. Just hanging out today. I go to so many yard sales during the summer and find the best things. Look for vintage clothes and band shirts. I love band shirts. We all have our niche, but look for things like that. Okay. I love band shirts. Unfortunately, I can't find any in my area. I have literally looked in like every um, thrift store in the city, out of the city, and it, they're like almost impossible to find. So I don't know what's up with that. Hi, Michael. Hello. I just did a random live this morning. We can't see you though. I'm fine. There you are. No, I still can't see you. I just decided to do a random live today. I was, I was kind of feeling down and just needed a break and wanted to hang out on YouTube. So. Oh, that's good. Well, not good that you're feeling down. But. Yeah. Look at and guess who is in here. It's Tori. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, he just woke up. She's been in here chatting with me. So. Yeah, the dogs kept me up like, my gosh, till over four in the morning last night. It was crazy. Yeah, they just. River was just being really weird. Mm. He just he would not let me sleep. It was it like four forty five when I was able to finally fall asleep. Yeah, it was early this morning because he first woke <sighs> up at two a.m. being all weird, and I yep. couldn't. I took him outside, and then I couldn't get him to come back in. And he does this weird stuff at night every once in a while. Yeah. And so I had to wake up Mike, and he had to go outside looking for him, and then got him back in, and then he did it again, you know, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and then he just didn't want to go to sleep, and he yeah. kept, and then when he did sleep, he was running his sleep. How's it going, Cajun? Jonathan's in here. Everybody's making me feel How's it better going, today. Big brother? How's it going, Vicky? Oh, <laughs> I miss you so much, baby. <laughs> You're gonna make your dad cry. Yeah. He, so he, proud of you, honey. So proud of you. Yes. So everybody, this is my stepdaughter who I've been talking to here. And yes, this is my lives, first to graduate. My she beautiful honey. Yes, there. she lives uh quite a bit away from us. She's in Texas right now, and we all miss each other. And she's graduating high school, so. On if, the 19th. If Mike cries, that's why. Yes, on the 19th <laughs> of uh, June. Well, I had to go back up here. Um, get the Dutera. I don't know how to say it, Dutera. I did. And thank you so much for pointing that out. Because, yeah, the box itself, and it's really in good shape. So the box <sighs> itself, you get like 50 bucks for yes, it. Easy. And then, um, yeah, with the sets. That I have them in like sets of four with the the oils, but I did list it all together just to see what would happen. But I have it listed right now. I believe it was for a hundred and uh, it was hundred and twenty. After yeah. yeah, I think when I I think that's what it was. So yes, thank you so much for pointing that out. I will definitely be, and I actually found it wasn't by the same um, company, but I actually fit did find another another oil. Uh, essential oil diffuser that I just listed yesterday as well, and that's worth like uh, 80 bucks, I think. It was like... Yeah, do you I, have any hits on that thing yet? I just listed it last night. So... <sighs> we I will, listed it a couple days ago. Which one? The box for the oils. I do have some watchers on it, but I just listed that other one last night for 45 and that was a smaller one. It's a different company. But, um, yeah, thank you so much. Let me see, where was I at? Uh, Carolina lady, hello. Thank you for coming in. I'm just hanging out today. This was just a random live, not yeah. doing anything. She ain't giving nothing away today. And there's a ton of people. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yesterday I was trying to give some I was trying to hold out for everybody. Yesterday I was at trying first to. I wasn't, but then I was. Yeah. 
Yeah, yesterday I was trying to give stuff away, and there was, like, no one there. There's like, four people in the chat. <laughs> and then, like, I come on today, and we got a bunch of people popping in, but that's okay. Uh, you guys, are making, Hello, no money you guys are making me feel better. I just needed to get on today and just hang out with some people. My YouTube Talk people. hanging out with some people. Tomorrow we'll be hanging out with some Don't people. Don't tell. I'm not telling Okay, you. I thought you were going to say Hope it. Hope my friggin' eyeball out. I thought you out. were going to say it. We're hanging out with... You guys, you, don't, find out you guys don't know who we're going to collab. I'm not going to tell. You guys will have to find out tomorrow. I can't wait for this collab, though. I am very excited to meet these guys. Yeah. They are, this person or persons. Th yes. Well, I already said that there was two YouTube resellers that we're going to be collabing with. So, there is two of them. And we'll be in the truck, so I'll be able to get something if we're I We're going to get some goodies, yeah. And we're going about an hour away from where we live to go garage sailing, so... I can't tell, Jonathan. You have to wait and see. Did I say hello to No Money G? I did. Okay. Hello. I said hello, No Money G. Is that Lego, dude? There's hey, no the Lego real peeps dude. were there. Yes, you're right, Chris. The real peeps were there. <laughs> you were there. Jonathan was there. Carolina lady was there. You guys rock. Everybody rocks. You know, it. we I understand everybody has lives, and there's so many channels to keep up with, and I don't do lives very often, so... And, you know, and also a lot of notifications went out late. I got some messages uh, afterwards saying that they just got the notification. So it is what it is. Hey, you know? Chris, do you drive a Camaro? Why? Because I think I have them on my Facebook and in the pictures a Camaro in the background. I think you do. I, I can't do remember. Do you drive a Camaro, Chris? Because if you did, you just became a, became a little closer a friend in my book. <laughs> if you drive a Camaro. You drive a Camaro and not a Mustang. You can be my friend. That got a look. Oh, was that when uh, he almost said it? I'm I'm behind on the chat now. Ever since you came down here, I'm all behind. That's because I'm the asking these people's questions. That's all. And I was so happy to see my baby Hello, girl in the chat. Oh, Nady Pies, Trinkets, and Doodads. I'm so oh, happy no you're Nate. here. So happy you were here. I was feeling down today, yep. and, and I, I always make her smile to see you popping out of an egg. Talking in my ear. Did you say it makes you smile to see you popping out of an egg? Yes. <laughs> but anyways, I was feeling down today, and I just needed a break, and just kind of doing some lifting and just hanging out. I just wanted to hang out with you guys. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he had a Camaro. <laughs> just had to get it new tires. Yep. yep. Yeah, you go, you go through back tires fast on those. Hi, Paul. Thanks for coming in. How's it going, Paul? You guys are all making my day. I feel better now than when I woke up. Yeah, until I came down. I know. You're distracting me. Rich Chris with his Camaro. <laughs> hey, you don't have to be rich to have a Camaro. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, you don't. I've gone through like five Camaros. Where are they? I sold them. Must have been before you met me. They were, because when I first <laughs> met her, all I drove was motorcycles for a period of time. I was through my learning how to walk again and driving motorcycle phase. Mm-hmm. You nasty. Here you go. Yeah, bye. Oh, wait. I can boy. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. She'll be in here. Are you staying in here for a while, Tori? Your dad's nasty. See, I never had a new Hey, you should have took my coffee cup with you. Wait, hold on. Never mind. You're gone. I'm going to have to go up and get some more coffee, though. Jen, hey Jen, thanks for coming in. So I'm just hanging out today. Nothing too exciting. Just needed to hang out with my YouTube peeps. Yes, I'm sticking as long as I can doing math class at the same time. Nice. Need some coffee. I know I do. I do. I need some coffee. Did you, uh, did you cuss? Did I miss it? Yeah, I'm missing the chat. That's okay. She's, she's, she's an adult now. <laughs> right? I don't like math either. I hate math. Math is the worst. For real. Not anybody who likes math. Well, Mike likes math. He, he's pretty good at it. I am not. 
All right, I think I'm going to open up these bag of plush. I've been on here for like a, oh, a little over a half an hour now. <laughs> it's okay if you cross. Yeah, that's all right. She's a big girl. I'm going to go get some more coffee, though. <laughs> right? What's going on with the situation back there? Okay. Yeah, big brother. Time for plush. So what's going on with the death pile behind me, right? So let's see. Nope, this side over here. Whoop, right there. These are stacked and stacked and stacked with my kids' toys. I was going to go through them and um, never made it before garage sale season. And once garage sale season hit, I'm like, I'm not going through these toys. Uh, all right. So, right now, and because we have the chickens back here, I'm waiting to get the chickens out of here so that I can start organizing that whole area. And then on the other side, this side, whoop, this is um, leftover storage unit stuff that we still need to go through. And then, like, over that way where you can't see is my inventory room. So it's basically, yes, a humongous death pile. That is what it is. Just a lot of it is our kids' stuff. I just, because I'm not going to throw it away until I until I go through it. Yeah, we used to buy our kids way too much and stuff. And they have really cool Nerf guns. Um, you know, Barbie is. Lego uh, sets Legos, I want to go through. Lego sets. They, they have a lot of stuff in that pile back there that's worth a little bit of money. So I'm going to go through it first. And make sure that I'm not throwing away anything or giving away anything that I can make some money off of. And I'm staying, I'm staying um up to date. I don't think that's the right word. I'm staying caught up on my garage sale finds that I'm listing. So that's why as long as I stay listing my garage sale stuff, I'm not worried about adding anything to the death pile at this point. So I just have to keep in mind that I have to list all my garage sale stuff. Oh, you found stickers. Floor. I thought all my stickers were gone. They're mine now. I found them on the floor. Fair square. No. So back to the Camaro conversation. No. I only had two. I was remembering when I was using the facilities. They're just words I, made by society. I guess I don't remember what we were talking about. I had a red one and I had a white one. Stop talking about Camaros. Get out of here. This is not what I'm doing. If you talk about cars on my show, I'm going to be mad. I don't like cars. <laughs> But when I first met Amber, all I had was motorcycles. <laughs> I lost my leg and I figured it was a good time to buy a handful oh. of motorcycles. No. Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's yes, Nate. <laughs> okay, now I got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to photograph 30 items today and list them all. That is my Go, goal. Jen. Yes. Get it done. Do it. I did. I think I did like 12 last night. Yeah, still not enough, but now I'm going to get the rest of on. What are we eBay. doing today? Nothing. Nothing? So um, I, can... I have, um, oh, look at, there's more guys coming in that want to talk about cars. Camaro! <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I like cars. I don't want to talk about I but like to go fast. I stopped talking I'm... about cars. So I where said, were when we? I met you, all I had was motorcycles. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then we drove through a couple winters in Wisconsin on my old one GSXR. And that did. Well, then she got pregnant. I was like, all right, it's time to get a car. Wait, you rode the back of the motorcycle up to eight months. I pregnant. did. Yeah. I through the winters, through. Don't know what I was thinking. I <laughs> through was the rainstorm, young, all that stuff. I was young and stupid. I was 21 and I was an idiot. I would have never done that now. <laughs> But yeah, you know, would. I was a good driver. No, you were a good driver. I trusted you. We never, you never crashed and I on the back had, of my bike. I know. I always had a helmet on, but. I never did. But you always did. I'm missing stuff here. Oh. Let's go. I see Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> I like Camaro. My favorite is the Bumblebee. See, hey, Baldy Pedro. That is a very good bottle, body, blah, 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 body style. The original heard Bumblebee. Too. You heard weed, too? Oh. oh. <laughs> there's an aroma in the air 
No, there's not. <laughs> My boys made a pile of dinosaur toys they no longer wanted. I'm glad I checked comps before. One dinosaur was fit. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we bought all this stuff. We might as well see if we can make some money off of oh, it. Oh, it was good stuff, too. I mean, most, like, Victoria, she <laughs> was spoiled for the most part whenever she was with us. But the ones that were with us more got, like, too much crap. Mm -hmm. And they got all Victoria's old crap. Mm -hmm. Victoria's easy some of, Well, And some of those boxes also back there are, um, there are, uh, there's two boxes of stuff of my toys from the 90s. Oh, that yeah, I my family toy. that I got from my mom's basement recently. Well, it was like a year ago, so that's recently to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm I can't wait to go through there because there's a bunch of cabbage patches. There's more trolls, and if y'all know me enough, you know that I collect trolls. Um, so I'm I can't wait to go through those boxes, and there's probably bar oh, you know vintage Barbies and stuff. So I'm I can't wait to find that box back there. I'm looking forward to that. And I have this old purple hippopotamus piano. From like the 80s? It's before the 80s. Was it? Yeah. It was from hey, some Noel. of my family members before I was born. Thanks for coming in. And I was born in the very, very early 80s. So. It, it had was, a lot of stuff too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the purple hippopotamus piano? Like You had a ton of stuff. That and was it, mine. All... And all my cousins and people before us at our family. Just this plastic purple bottomless piano yeah but i'm holding on to it just for the sole reason on uh, i hope one of my kids like you victoria when you have kids that you can come take Not all this time. crap and give it to them yeah and then we're gonna keep it. some of the older and stuff some of the cool vintage stuff yep. to pass down and you played with it when you were a kid your dad played it with when he was a kid your Sisters. cousins your sister your brother mm -hmm. your Uncle's kids, I mean, Aiden and Cheyenne, I think, played for it a little while. We mm -hmm. got it back and sterilized it. <laughs> sterilized it. Yeah. So I am going through a bag of plush. Do you want to hand it to me? Oh, I, I was surprised you said plush. Why? <laughs>
Hold on. Ha ha! There it is. Holy cow, that took forever. Oh my gosh, guys. Thanks for sticking in with that. I asked Mike to grab me a bag of plush and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Let's see what's going on. Something is happening. It was. It took long enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, we made it back. Yes. All right. Let's get to the plush now. <laughs> it took forever. Holy Toledo. But I did grab a coffee too while my computer was restarting. So that works. It works. No, it didn't work. No, you messed it all up. That's because there's friggin' stuff everywhere. Yeah, because the right wires now. are all like, yes. pretty, like, I ran them up on the ceiling. Well, because of the chickens right now, there's wires down on the floor. So he got caught on one of the wires. And I got a fresh egg leg, so I couldn't feel I was stepping on a wire. You got to move your stuff. I can't move. <laughs> well, move it then, because you right outside my, my mouse pad. Let me move it. How clumsy. Right? Yeah, I'm very clumsy. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Yeah, and you get it from me too, so ha. Are you clumsy, Tori? I know your I know your sister is. Like extremely. Yeah. She's not as awkward duck as Nevaeh. What, Tori? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can agree that your sister is an awkward duck. She is. But we love her and she looks beautiful trying to do the dance moves and stuff. But yeah. uh some people just can't grow beards. And some people just can't dance. I can do both. And I can do one of those. You can do both? <laughs> you can do both? I can grow a beard and I can dance. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Oh my gosh. Well, Chris is back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Camaro. <laughs> How you about know, funny fact, Camaro never put a four-cylinder in their car because it was a muscle car there's another car company out there that did put a four cylinder in their supposed supposed muscle car don't ever buy one of those why not it because looks... it's a ford mustang and if you put a four cylinder in your muscle car it defeats the purpose of being a muscle car oh. I'm sorry you can have your little sixes little sixes are actually pretty quick they can make some really good power but uh the four cylinders no no you ain't you ain't doing nothing tori says she can't dance either <laughs> you can't dance either. <laughs> well, you look like you can kind of dance in that in that um that Nutcracker. Uh, oh, the one that we did that together. You guys did. Yeah, we were in a musical play. Oh gosh, that had been like ten years ago. I bet I was and a musical. Amber was a mean sister and a maid. They made her scrub the floors in like a dirty brown or gray maid outfit. Yeah, I had a maid wearing. outfit on. Lady Luckjug, Lady Beard, <laughs> ah, right? See, thanks, it's, Nate. It's good. <laughs> Nate said that was inspirational. Well, Danica said Lady Beards are hot, so Lady Beards. Well, yeah. then I can get the extra food out of my beard at night and hers. Yeah, exactly. And you have lots, a lot more food. to eat. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Twelve days of Christmas is what it was called. Yep, but that wasn't dancing. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> the dance. It like, was more of like was a... for the dance. Mm -hmm. That's dancing. As ballet. It, but ballet is a form of what? Dancing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but if you're not doing it correctly. Hey, people don't do a lot of stuff correctly. Doesn't mean they're not doing stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, trust me. You can have these mechanics out here in these shops in Madison. Now, are you ready to open this plush without destroying everything? No. I haven't even got my, like, foot... An ankle I got the bag over here. Broken anyway, leg so. secured. Yeah. Trying. Eating each other's beard leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys are giving me nightmares with this beard. <laughs> Tori, if I grow a beard, just just end it all. I don't know. I don't yeah. want a beard. Let's do something like be like dad, what the hell? <laughs> Your wife's got a beard for Christ's sakes. Do something about it. All right. You, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So the first one I pulled out of this bag is a unicorn. 
So it is a Beanie Boo. <sighs> Pixie. So we're looking for, um, did you say Frost and Merlin, Chris? You be YouTube famous as the bearded woman. <laughs> I probably would get a lot of views for that. Yeah, I'm sure I would. <laughs> but we have molded our faces together with that face exchange app, That's and she weird. does look pretty, uh, pretty bad with the beards. I thought I looked handsome. No, you look scary. Like you know, if a how do I get this? If start? a California raisin grew a beard. A California raisin? What the <laughs> heck? They do. I think a lot of them do have um, tags. I'm not sure, but um, the late. I remember when I picked them up. The lady told me that um, her kids barely played with them, so they should be all in pretty good condition. Yeah, they have a lot of them have the tags. All right. well, remember when we were uh, garage selling in Sun Prairie, and the crazy lady had a bag of like six beanie babies for two hundred dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> and they weren't anything special. No, I, I can like, tell you that much. Wow. But that's the same place we paid fifty dollars for the oils. So Yeah, but that was actually worth it. Yeah, that was worth it. But I'm man, gonna some, like double my money on some that. Some people's kids, man. They They're close to. Yeah. No, but, I can't wait. Can't yeah. wait for that one. But yeah, sell. when these people have beanie babies listed for two hundred dollars at their garage sale, it's like, um Yeah. What are you thinking? All right, next one is this guy. Let me take that down. And it does have a tag. Yes, it does. And his name is, or her name is Tasha. And she drives and a, a Camaro. And it's a bigger one. And she drives a Camaro. Cool. <laughs> yeah, these are super great condition. Cool, cool. I still haven't hooked up my thermal printer. Okay. Yeah, and isn't it the old school thermal printer too? Old school? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. It's brand new. I know, but I thought it was the older model. Not the newer models, no, like I was gonna get a no, 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 no. I was gonna get a um, Dymo. Yeah, yeah I was, Dymo. and I and I went with a different brand. Oh. That's why it looks different. All right, next one. This this dude, the medium. Hold on. All right, maybe a Facebook group. People be cray in there. Oh, I bet. Ooh, we should get in with Chris's page and give these addicts their fix. <laughs> Uh, she's a medium one generally the cat to do well cool good great news thanks man all right and then this one is dotty small one dotty boom body tags that'd be cool if they all had tags that's great yeah for sure where do we get this bag um this is a bag i got off of facebook market about two months ago i paid ten dollars for the whole bag two months ago yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, and I totally forgot about them. And when I woke up this morning, and I was like, oh, I just want to go live on YouTube and hang out. I was like, what else can I do while I go live? And I was like, oh, my gosh, there's a bag of plush that I never went through. So I'm like, it's a perfect day to do it. Yes, it is. Oh, this is the small one. This is the small version of that one. You know, while you're always cold down here, these storm windows aren't even closed. Yeah, but it's not cold outside anymore. That's a small version. I wonder if those would do better as a pair. As a pair, sell them as a pair. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, ten dollars is a steal. She finds these great deals. Like, what was the the other one? The the what you might call it? The other stuffed animals you got? Unless you don't want to talk about them right now. The first bag the of mish, squishmallows. The squishmallow you got? Oh yeah, the two squish big squishmallows I got for ten dollars, and I sold them both for like sixty bucks. Yeah. I don't think this is a Beanie Boo. No, but this, is this little same one that you keep trying to buy everywhere, no, and the tail is, deflated. This is the tail was deflated at the last time is you tried to buy him from Goodwill. Well, they do have the same. Yeah, I think this is Beanie, but it doesn't have tags. It's not Beanie enough. Baby. No, no Beanie Boo. It's not Beanie Boo. Look at the tag. That's knockoff Boo. No, I don't know, Chris. What is this? And he's got one long black booger. <laughs> I got it done for fifty dollars once. Made my money back on two of them. Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this one is, but it doesn't have a tag, so I think it's, it's a got a it's got a thing right here, boom. But it's the other side. 
It just says ideal toys. That's what brand it is. It's an ideal toys. Well, fine. If the tag just says ideal toys, I wonder what it is. <laughs> Captain Obvious. What do you want me to do with him? <laughs> Doesn't look okay. It's not a beanie boo. <coughs> Put him over there. I, I tried telling you that. I don't want it. I don't want it. See, she doesn't listen to me. She just looks at me funny. Quires. Yeah, okay, I got it. It's not a beanie boo. I didn't think it was. I was just making yeah, sure. Yeah, you did. I can rewind I'm it and show you. I'm trying to said, learn, okay? You said it was. You were like, I think this is fun. <laughs> right? She said it. All right, then we got a unicorn, but there's no tag on it. The name is Magic. I remember having one of these a long time ago. Yeah. You don't remember this one? I do remember that one. I thought it was purple though. I thought it was purple with a pink horn. No, I'm pretty sure we had one just like this a while back. <laughs> Those eyes. Yeah. That, that look was it. Hello, hello, Louise. Don't worry, she beats me after. <laughs> that we look get was on. intense. I have to get it in on on <laughs> the TV. You know, one's always wondering how I always get broken. Yep, it's me. Yep, it's all me. There's a reason. There's no footage. Of the crash. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> mm. Sold that one. How's it going, Callie? And Luis. Luis, I just friended him. You mean subscribe to him? No, I friended him on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> I know you just subscribed to him because I looked up his channel for you. Mm -hmm. But I friended him on Facebook. Too. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Yeah. He we steals friends, all uh, my friends. Yeah. He's like, well, if Amber is friends with him, then I'm friends with him. Well, she kind of have to be friends with me. I live with her. Beard smack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike blink twice if you're in day. I can't click on it. Hold on. <laughs> To blink twice if you're in it. You know, our post office guy <laughs> said the same thing. Why are y'all picking on me all the time? Right, it's the, the short ones you got to watch out for. Because yeah, we went in there at when I think was it when you had your sling on your yeah, arm. Arm, arm sling. And that's what he said. He said blink twice if you're in danger. <laughs> I'm like what the heck? I'm like five foot nothing here. That's the ones you got to watch out for though. I can do They're my like, ninja. Yeah, kick. they like. Kick you in the knees. <laughs> they bite your ankles. Oh my goodness. That is funny. All the poopies, they just sitting outside, just sitting there. You can let them in. They like to stare at the chickens. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm going to pull another one here. What do we got? No tag on this one, but it is a TY. Yeah, but see, like on the butt. Oh, it's got a hole. It's got a tape over the hole. Don't want you. I we hope can that, give it. We can give I it. I hope that breath. wasn't a good one. I didn't even look at the name. I was like, oh, it's got a hole. It's out here. It had a piece of clear tape holding its guts in. I feel you. I feel you, little guy. I do that sometimes too. <laughs> I like to make my wife feel awkward in public because I flinch in fear when she moves her hand. He does. She smacks shit. me though. No, I don't. She hits me. <laughs> She hits me in public. I go to talk to someone. She's like, shut up. Sh shut up. And she just like starts hitting me. I'm like, what did I say? I don't. Don't tell people about us. Okay. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Here's something you guys don't know about me since he's, it's getting brought this up. This is going to do it now. No, I was just saying. Oh my gosh. what I have to do? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So here's something you guys don't know about me. I she have. She beats me. Would you shut up and let me talk? I have severe social anxiety, like severe. Like I get sick, I can't go places. It's I have it's bad anxiety. Um, we didn't go to a restaurant for ten years. That is very true. I would I refuse to go to a restaurant or anything like that. But and she doesn't. That's suck. for other reasons though. Um, I do have severe anxiety issues. <laughs> but okay, so this is why I don't smack them. What I do is I tap them on the shoulder or the leg. Because if I'm starting to have anxiety in, in public, I don't tap you in your bag, knock it off. If I start having anxiety in public and I feel like he's talking too much about like our personal life. And I talk way too much. And he talks way too much all the time. I do. I start getting anxiety and I'm like, oh my God, stop talking, stop talking. Like, 
And I'm trying, and that's something that I'm trying to work on because I know a lot of it has to do with my anxiety. So that's, you know, but yeah, that's why, why that's why it happens though. <laughs> yes, I probably do deserve it because I do talk way too much and everybody <laughs> is my friend. But I used to get by on that a lot my whole life, especially when I was growing up when I was younger, I was in a bad, uh, good situation. So I'd always make friends with like the store clerks and the gas station clerks and stuff. And they just give me free to food and, you know, help me out through my kind of childhood years. So it was kind of a thing that I formed being young. It was like a tactic of mine to, to be able to socialize, to, to get food. I had to socialize with people mm -hmm. and kind of go through my situation a little bit. And then they'd, you know, give me shelter or food for a little while mm -hmm. or whatever. And it, as being an adult, be, being able to provide shelter and food and stuff for myself, it's kind of just, Ben, I, but it's a good thing. You, you I know. social networked a lot of my work when I was doing uh, engine repair and car repair and landscaping and all this kind of stuff. I was able always to have something to do just because I was friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. the way I always liked it. It was, it was my social networking. I never did the internet. I was always bad at the internet and this and that. But you could ask anyone in any town I lived in who I was. The one like a guy named knew exactly who I was and what I did and probably fixed their car for him once or twice before. Yep. And I was complete opposite. I just, I don't, I don't socialize in, in public very well. I socialize so much. Well, I wanted to say good morning to Maggie. Thanks for coming Hi, in. Hi, Maggie. I socialized so much, I didn't have to pay for half the stuff I got at the gas station. Like, I would go to try to pay for my stuff at the gas station. The lady was just like, here, and push it up to the side. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. okay. But she lost her job, but it wasn't my fault. I didn't ask her for Why can I pitch your Amber Halt coming out? Yep. She does, too. It's like this four-foot green midget coming at you. <laughs> I'm not four foot. I'm five foot. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's Hobbit height. It is habit. I dream to have those type of social skills. Yeah, me too. I have learned a lot from him though. So I think us being in a relationship and me using the internet a lot and socializing through YouTube and social media, I've learned to socialize that way, which has really helped me. And then just being with him in general, I have learned kind of how he reacts to people in person yeah, and in public. A lot public of people stare at me because I only have one leg. Yeah. They do. And, and that's fine. I've gotten used to it. And I, and I do the thing, too, because I used to uh, be uh, the one who always picked up my kids from school and stuff. And before COVID, when we'd all stand out there, all their friends would come out and they'd call me the robot. And I'd talk to them about it and say it's okay to know different people and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, yeah, I've tried to show Amber just because people are staring at you. You know, I, I catch them staring at me all the time. And I'll just look at them. And they look up and be like, hi. Or, yeah. You know, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Everyone's different in their own I've way. always just been self-conscious since a very, very young age, mainly because of my, my white. Because I have no pigment in my skin. So, like he said, like, if I would be wearing, like, shorts and you could see the white in my skin. So, I always just had that anxiety that they're judging me, they're looking at me, and they don't even know me, but they're still judging me. And so, it's like... And then we'd go hang out at the beach or something with just me and her, and no one was looking at her, running around being stupid and looking weird. They would all stare at me. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, it kind of made her feel better. For those of you that don't know, this is all natural. This is... I was born with all this white. I have no pigment in my skin, so... She's part albino. <laughs> That's what he always says. I'm part albino. It's the mark of the beast, and my daughter has it, too. Yes. And I'm starting to get it in my beard. Yeah, yeah. you weren't born with it, though. No. Anxiety is a hulk, exactly. Yeah, anxiety is terrible, and I, I try to overcome that stuff. I don't read people while my wife, wife makes fun of me because when she reads the room that the party is over, I'm the guy who's still trying to get people to do sh <laughs> That's Mike. Yep. That's I'm like, hello, it's been over for like two hours. Yep. <laughs> We're not, I'm done. <laughs> yes, I can drink like a tank and I quit smoking cigarettes. I vape now. So But he don't drink no more either. He uh, I quit drinking. Quit drinking. Quit drinking. So completely. We were like we definitely lot. we definitely I definitely have used booze in the past for anxiety. Mm -hmm. Um and I think Mike has too. I've used it for a crutch for depression. But um yeah. Or PTSD, post-traumatic stress. Yep. He has PTSD from his accident. Well, and all sorts and of stuff. And my childhood was yeah. pretty terrible, Social but it made me a strong person. Oh, I even wrote myself a script to read off and calling to order pizza. Yeah, I, I don't think I ever, you know, did that much, you know, that far. But I know there was times where my anxiety was so high, I Mike would have to do it for me. You know, mm -hmm. he'd have to go into the store for me, mm -hmm. or he would have to make that phone call for me. 
but I think I've I've came a long way now. What's up, sweetie? Ooh, did you make me a fuzzy doll? Yes. Awesome. It looks like a ghost. <laughs> My daughter makes these crazy yarn dolls. I know at Halloween I'm gonna hang them up all over We're the trees, all, all over the place. And it's purple. Do I get to keep it? Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you, sweetie. You gonna come say hi to the peeps? She did, but Dory is still on. Yeah, come say hi to your sister. She misses you. I always, I still always thought you were so pretty since I was good. Thank you, honey. I yeah. love you. And I know you all is saying how pretty Amber was ever since uh, you were a little girl. Amber or Victoria met Amber when she was three, so she's always known Amber as pretty much her dad's wife, as her. Here, bend out a her little other bit. mother, you know, but See, as someone uh, cool to hang out with and be Turn your head a little bit. See, she's got the white, too. Got to turn it this way. Yep, this is my daughter, Nevea, and she got all... And everyone had a rough day, so everyone got to skip school my today. Birthmark. Yeah. Work we all skipped school today. Whoops! <laughs> so, yeah, we are like, what did she say, X-Men, yep. Yep. Epic, yep. Rogue, yep, that's yep. what it is. That's yep. And uh, I told the lady at the farm fleet the other day that it was real, and she was yep. like, Yeah, and I'm Cleopatra. Yeah, this lady didn't believe us that our hair was I'm like, natural. No, for real, she was born with it. I, I, I had baby pictures of yeah, her. Yeah, she was like... born coming out with the, the white in her hair. And the, the big thing was when uh, Neve was a baby, people would be like, Oh, so you bleach your daughter's hair? And I'd be like, Yeah, I just take the bucket of bleach, I dunk her head down <laughs> in it. When she stops moving, I pull her out and it's done. Yeah, we bleached it. No. Yeah. yeah, people are crazy. In Wisconsin, I have heard in the winter you have to drink because there's nothing else to do. That, you know. Drink and ride snowmobiles. That is true, but yep, he, he he's not doing that no, no more. No, I gotta yeah. stop drinking. People pay a ton drinking. to look as cool as you. I know. Thank you. Yes, I know. I, do. I, know. I, I, I just wake up every morning and it comes naturally. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so rude. I appreciate yeah. it. You're you're beautiful too. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish going through this bag. Um, I don't want it. Don't give it to me. It's gonna poop. On. It already pooped on Mama. Yeah. Not this one. No, that's Lil. That's Lil. Mm -hmm. The one that likes to jump on everything. And Cluck Norris is the one that pooped on Amber. The only that's one my that, chicken. Yeah, the only one who doesn't have a real name. Yeah, he's got a real name. It's Cluck Norris. I wanted either Cluck Norris or Macaulay Cluckson. Okay, so there's more of these. Yes, that's that Cluck Norris. He's a monster. That I don't want. Look how big he is. Put those over here. I don't want these ones. Those aren't Beanie Boos. I'm going to have to look them up, though. Oh, is this one that on you? Yeah, yes, Cluck. that's Cluck Norris. Yeah, that's Cluck Norris. Don't poop on me. <laughs> he's huge. Or she's huge, I should say. Yeah, it's huge. Clucky's huge. So what am I supposed to do with these? Get rid of them? So this is a ringtail, dude. This is like one of those guys. No, those are the same ones as the one I just. Oh. They're not. They're not Beanie Boos. I have to look them up. True. Ringtails, and they're made all by Cal Toys. Where was that? Say? Decal Toys. <laughs> I couldn't see the yeah. D. It was Decal Toys. I had a blast with Danica and a while before I even knew who Five they were. Later. eBay opened 2019 closing party. All liquored up. First time. I had a drink in seven years. Just not a drinker anymore. Yeah. No, I like my own natural, my more earthy solutions. Yeah. I don't even take painkillers, and I go through so much pain. Oh, last man. time I took painkillers was a very small amount, and that's <laughs> after I broke my arm. And You're I didn't not take crazy. any there. I just took them after I broke my leg. You're hearts. awesome, Noel. I seldom drink meals. Some Nails, me stick, but we do have fun. Some people can drink, some people can't. I was, I never could. I had to like force it down. No, she was such a lightweight, and then she'd fall I over well, and, and break glasses. And no, it wasn't even that. It was just that, um, I didn't, I couldn't drink it because I didn't like the taste of it. So like a couple of years ago, I did find white cloth and, and rum chata, and rum chata, and I did like those. So every once in a while, those are okay, but. And I drink White Claw like water for part of the summer. Takes a nerd to know a nerd. Exactly. It's yeah. A, we're all a bunch of nerds here I love being YouTube. a nerd. I make Legos and do nerdy things. Yeah. Yeah. I can drink like a fish. Yes, yeah, so I used to be able to drink like a fish. I could drink a liter of vodka in a day, no problem. Yeah. 
I used to drink so much I would throw up and not even be drunk and have to drink more. Yep. All right. Next ones. These don't have tags. So only like the first three had tags. She she put all the first four. She put all the good ones on top. On the top. Here, let's put all the crap on the bottom and put the ones that are perfect on the top. Yep. And we'll buy the whole bag. Oh my goodness. People normally don't dig all the this way to is the bottom. Flora and I know they're T Wags. Hopson. Yep, these are beanie Hopson. Boobs. Hopson, that's what it says. Nice. <laughs> Um, oh gosh, these are TYs, I can tell, but they're not beanie boos. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, it's a shimmies, it's one of those ones that you wipe. Yeah, that's not a beanie boo either. That's not a beanie boo, that's a wipeable. Mm -hmm. Wipe on, wipe off. <laughs> what is this little guy? That would make for some cool looking underwear, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hobson will sell well. Cool, good to know. Yay! What's this guy? This is just a teeny guy. I don't know what he is. He is a teeny guy. Hello. He is something nerd. Something. He's a something. Dumpster diving mo. Hey, thanks for coming in. SC Thrifted Treasures. Hello, thanks for coming in. Hello, hello, hello. Are you guys buying a fur plush? Yeah. Always. She is a plush blush. My daughter. We just we always collected yep. plush. Even Her be, daughter. Even before I started collection. reselling. So yeah. I don't know what that guy Her is. whole room is plush. It's a dolphin. That changes color. That's I meant the brand. Oh, well, I thought you were just generalizing. You didn't know what that guy was. There's a little teeny tiny one. He's missing an eye. He's a pirate dolphin. Grr. He is He's missing got one eye. And no eye this guy is tiny, He's but it is a creatures. TY. Oh, I'm not even holding it up. That's a TY? Yep, it's just a tiny one. Oh, it is a TY. It's got a tag on it and yep, everything. It's got a tag on it, but it's, it's a tiny one. Do you know what that is? Just yeah, by looking it's at a it? Norwalk. Oh, okay. Well, you always think Bye, I don't buddy. know. Every time you always ask me questions, and I'm like, duh, I know the answer. You think I don't know? You don't. Know. You think I don't know? I know you don't know. So how it goes? I pity the pool. The I pool? pity the pool. <laughs> You're a pool. Yeah, it's a pool. Okay, so out I of that ten dollar bag, I think the sellable ones are gonna be at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's out of. There's like five or six over there that weren't Beanie Boos, but I'll have to look them up and see what they are. Um, oh, I got something going on on my Facebook market. Hold on a second. Let me check this. Yep, I see. Did the Camaro sell yet? Ha, ha, ha. Dang, Flora New Attacks is for a 30 on Amazon. Nice. Oh, that was that laser chest I found, so I want to buy it. No. No. No, the that that put. Uh, I don't like to put that stuff in the Madison one because everybody on there just comments random crap for no reason. But that one is a decent game though, since it was brand new. All right, where was I? I'm hungry. I didn't go outside. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. My favorite movie for sure. Oh, it's that Norwell and uh, Eeyore fits my dog River's personality perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Norwell though. Yeah, that's. <laughs> so everyone, he keeps me up till four forty-five in the morning. Yeah. I need to list something. I need to eat. Something. Are you guys? Have you guys listed anything today, or what are you all doing right now? Besides hanging in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to get something up here. I need to get something up here. You know you're on the live stream. I know I'm on live stream. I'm just oh. hanging today. I'm all done with the plush. Now I'm back to just hanging. I gotta get this stuff listed. 
You're not doing anything. You can entertain them. Oh, hold on. I'm going through the throbbing of my leg really quick. Oh. For some reason, if you guys have metal in your body, like metal rods and stuff, they just randomly pulse and ache. And hurt. For some weird reason. Shipping. Yep, I did that yesterday. Doing college math. <laughs> Get her <Yes>. done, baby. <laughs> That's right. She's still doing a... Math. Get it done, baby. You should. Working. You should have no problems with that. <laughs> yeah, I did my shipping yesterday, but I think I'm gonna go back. Well, this we got afternoon. to because you like lost a package we were supposed to ship. I didn't lose a it. package. I just it. couldn't. It wasn't in a package. I though. didn't lose a package. I just couldn't find it. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> now I forgot what I was saying. Did you lose your thought? <laughs> or could you just not find it? Y'all, he drives me nuts <laughs> all day long. I have to just block it out sometimes. She used to love it. I told her. When I first got with <laughs> her, I was like, I am going to annoy the living crap out of you. And she goes, you can never annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> and I still put it in her face. <laughs> I told you that you were annoying probably like within the first couple of years we were together. Within the first couple of years. Just like she told me she used to love horror movies. She that, used to, uh, that doesn't make any sense because I never liked horror movies. No, you hated horror movies, but you told me you liked them. No, I didn't. I must have been drunk. You were. Oh, well, that's why. I'm not scared of them when I'm drunk. <laughs> Only when I'm sober. <laughs> Eating eggs because I have 12 million. Call it Cagillion? Cagillion. <laughs> I'm like, what am I trying to say? 12 million, here? Cagillion, 100. Yeah, I'm home. hoping once these babies get bigger, we'll be back to having eggs for sure. I want to eat some eggs, but I don't got any. No, because the, well, what happened to our chickens last year is they got, we got a raccoon attack. Three raccoon attacks. Three, there was three of them, and all of our chickens got killed except for two. And the two that got left were traumatized. From they, watching their brothers. They and didn't lay any more them. eggs after that. And then this spring they started laying a few, but that was it. And then it's and then it stopped. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll give them a little more time. And I'm like, well, maybe if I get some more babies and try it again, we'll see what happens. So I think we have the r raccoon problem taken care of, though. Yeah, I I, I went on a killing spree of raccoons. Yeah, he did. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I slaughtered them. Yeah. And I haven't been back since because I continue to bait traps and I have got nothing. Right. Yeah. So I think they're gone. So I think these guys should be fine. And plus we've sealed the, the area up better now. It was just a door that had accidentally got left unclipped. And and the kids got to get into the, the massacre too. The, my daughter, Nevea, she enjoyed taking out one of those raccoons. Would you guys shoot him? Actually, Chevy. No, Chevy did. Chevy got one, and Nevaeh wanted to watch the one die Ew. because it killed her chickens. Well, I know she was mad about so it. She was mad and sad, so after I shot it, she was like, yay, no more threat to my baby chickens. Hey, Noelle, that's a question I have um, about ducks. She has 24 lane hangs and four ducks that are layers and one rooster. So when I went to go get my baby chickens, there were some ducks. Well, they were actually, the ducks were gone by the time I went and got them, but like the week before, they had baby ducks. I'm like, that would have been so cool to have some baby ducks, but I wasn't really sure what people did with baby ducks. So do you actually eat the eggs from the ducks then? I wasn't really sure if that was like a thing or I don't know. I don't know if I would. You need to have a covered run. The neighbor's raccoons will be there in a hot second. Yeah. Um, I think we have well we what we have is like a big sh uh, barn shed type thing it was an old 10 by 10 ice shanty that i turned into oh a that's right coop. that's right so it's insulated it's solid yep it's pretty heavy duty it actually weighs about 2600 pounds and uh and, and then, then i fenced in the ground i went in about six inches down the ground with double chicken wire into the ground uh, i should have went about a foot six inches to a foot and i pinned that down then i double wrapped all the way around so we have a big area that's completely fenced off behind attached to the chicken coop and i think the only reason they got in was because they no, came underneath the ground nope, through the original nope, chicken coop nope that wasn't it that was not it they didn't go through the ground mm -hmm. no they didn't 
You don't even remember. They were in holes because I trapped them outside the holes and they came out the holes because they were in holes underneath the ground, underneath the chicken, okay. underneath the ice shack. But the chicken coop I'd bought from Farm and Fleet attached to the back of it didn't have very good flooring in it. So they pushed the flooring up. So since then, I ripped that flooring out and stabled flooring down and covered all the holes so they couldn't come out. I spent two days, three days trapping them coming out of the holes from underneath the chicken coop. I'm going to still tell you that you're wrong. Okay. Because when I went out there that morning that they were dead, the back of that chicken coop was open. So mm -hmm. which means it was not yeah. latched closed. And I think that they were able to pull open the door. Oh, that's right, because you didn't latch that one. Yeah, well, they, it, it was, a, it was, but there was tunnels underneath it as well. And that's where I trapped the rest of them out because I think they were staying underneath it. I keep the ducks with the chickens. Ducks uh, eggs are bigger and better. Really? Nice. So we are going to have to get, get some ducks. The ducks, they are quiet and will eat all your household scraps and our great mamas. Oh, well, I'll definitely have to think about that then. Where's my beef? Definitely the way to go. Okay, cool. Well, good to know. Yeah, they were so cute. I, I wanted some too. I don't know what kind they were, but. Yeah. Yeah, she said the raccoons can't open latch and on gates. So I think I think they well, might they have went, left the, la the gates open. It wasn't latched all the way, so I think that's what happened. But oh well, we're gonna try again. Yeah, well I secured the floor too. Yeah. No, we I definitely did secure it more. Oh my baby. Is it my baby? There's a big puppy. It is my baby. Tori, have you seen Creaker or met him? Yeah, she's met him. Did you? I thought she met him. I think she might have she's seen pictures when he was a baby. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Hi, River. This is my baby right here. I'm still trying to list this one thing for like the last two hours. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. River's like, I'm gonna go up to you. Going upstairs, River. Ah, off my desk. Get him down. Uh uh, no way. He's too big. Creaky. Get him down. Get down, Creek. Kicker. Creek squad. Creek squad. He's my little creek squad. Yes, he is. He's tiny though. Mm. He is a tiny. Once. Guy. Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, that was more so when he was younger. Yeah. River, right, right. When get out the chicken baby. food. Yeah. You're a dog. You're not a chicken. You don't eat chicken food. He's named after Ryan Upchurch. No, he's actually named after. Well, creek squad. Yeah. Creaker. Mm -hmm. That's where it came from. Yeah. But it was Cypress Creek to begin with. And well, just call him Creaker. That's true. I guess I got the Cypress Creek from um, Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty first. Yeah. And then it turned to Creaker. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, we have all Cypress eagles, Creek. hawks, coyotes, raccoons, and ferrets. River. Yep. We have the coyotes too. I thought it was coyotes at first until so we I, caught the raccoons. Until I trapped them. Is it hurt? I right. take a whole bunch of beef and gonna, like leftover stew and vegetables and stuff. I'm going to get in Chevy traps. some ibuprofen and take the dogs upstairs. Right. So you can talk to these wonderful okay. people for a second. Go puppies. Come on, guys. Upstairs. Up, up, upstairs. Come on. Yep, yep. Upstairs. Come on. Oh, I'm going to take the cozy chair now. All right. So how about them camaros? <laughs> you don't no. come up. You have to go back out. What do you want to do? Upstairs. They don't listen to her. River just sits there and looks at her like, what do you think you... Can you go back outside? Yeah, go back outside. Oh, this chair is more comfy than my chair. So how are you guys doing on this beautiful you day? Yes, because you're sitting in the crappy chair. And what is the big plans for today? Working. Very disgusting. Everyone's working? I don't know. I'll probably... I'll probably find something to do. I'll go down in the shop and work on something. Dad, one of Chevy's teachers is stopping by at noon. Okay. For what? I gotta For what? What do you do? Oh. <laughs> Usually when someone stops by and you have to sign some paperwork, you did something bad. Mm. Yeah, Dang, bald eagles, hawks, coyotes, raccoons, and ferrets. So, yeah. I modded out one of my little 22s, a little, it was a Ruger 22, really nice gun, 1022, Ruger 1022, really nice gun, but I modded it to be an AR because I shoot a lot of the vermin around here, 
And it's really nice running around the property with a little mini AR framed 22 because who doesn't like shooting an AR for one and for two 22s are super accurate and super cheap to pay for as to 556 or 223 I like to shoot my gun and not have to pay a lot of money so that's a really good way to do it measuring clothes huh? oh we got something else popping up here Says I feel like I gotta get a trail card. <laughs> yeah, um, our kids are back to school pretty much full time Tuesday through Friday, so that's really nice. It helps us be able to get done what we need to get done, and. I've been able to get out into the garage a lot more or the shop a lot more often because I'm starting to heal up. Now I'm going to have to move. Well, you want my soft, cozy chair? Yes. Yeah, so I was like, woohoo, I got the soft, cozy chair. <laughs> and then as soon as you're up, I was like, hey, guys, what about those Camaros? <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Just chilling. How's Diego been, Tori? I think yes. I got... Get out of free jail. Oh, okay. okay. Grant gets it back to school. Yeah. For sure. Yes, for sure. That's why I was just saying that that helps for them to be back into school. Why does this keep popping up? There we go. What are you going for? I was looking for my inhaler, buddy. I don't think I brought it down here. That's fine. I'll be fine. We'll be off here soon. I'm going to have to get some other work done. That was a nice, though, break this morning. Just chilling. I'm hungry. I'm starving. That's what I was just thinking too. I gotta eat. <laughs> she said she didn't hear you. What were you saying? <laughs> well, I don't think he can speak right now. Get out of here with all that. <laughs> I was asking how Diego was doing. Oh, how is Diego doing? Oh my goodness. How is Diego doing? Your face is red. <laughs> Dang inhalers killing people. Yeah. Ugh. That's what it is. I didn't hear you. Hey, hey. Howdy. Small town picker. Howdy, What's howdy, up, howdy. Small howdy. Town? howdy, howdy, howdy. Asking how your boyfriend's doing, Mr. Diaggy. We are just hanging out today, Gail. Just. Just doing some work. Yeah, in my stomach. If it keeps yelling at me, I'm going to have to run away. Some are you food. live tomorrow? Or are we Ooh, filming the live collaboration? Tomorrow. No, we're not. We're no, we're not going to be live tomorrow. No, we are just going to film the collab. Um, it should be out by next week, like Wednesday, I would say. Yep. But I gotta just because I always do that, you might be resort if I'm Monday. So I'll probably have it come out on Wednesday. So I'll keep you guys wondering who we're collabing with. Haha. <laughs> Yep. I can tell you right now, one person has guessed it correctly. Oh. Yep. One person has. Not in the chat today, but one person has guessed. I um, guessed. Oh, it might be me. Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> but yeah, it should be fun. Quit barking. I'm sorry. Well, I hope the lady's not here. So, anyways, uh -oh. I'll have to tell. No, she's not. No, just that's a, a FedEx. It's a FedEx. Uh, sure, FedEx. You're supposed to be coming up here. I know. I'm still waiting for. Because something. they gave my stator to the neighbors too. Well, if the, if my package ends up there, they'll call. They always do, or they'll text you and say we got your package. But yeah, I am waiting for some curtains right now. I'm redoing. We're like one step at a time. We are remodeling our house. So I oh, started. Well. I'm starting with the kids' room, and I'm gonna. Upstairs. Come on. Um, all right. paint their rooms Peter. and give them all new bedding, Peter. curtains, and all that stuff. And then we'll start on the rest of oh, the rest of the house. Oh, puppy, puppy. Our floors are going first because our house is really old. What? So Peter. we have a lot of property, but it's an old house. So we're going to update it all. <laughs> I know that cough. Peter. Peter. Yeah. Tee hee. Yeah, Peter. exactly. I'm like, what are you doing? Peter. 
just eat a Snickers Betty White. Oh, no, well, what are you talking about? But I do like Snickers. I do have to say that oh, for sure. No, it's not. But we should. Good morning, Chuck. How are you doing? What up, Chuck? Oh, my. Somebody's happy to see you. I was falling down the stairs. Mike's always like, where's Chuck? Is Chuck online? Is Chuck in the chat? <laughs> Chuck going live? I think you got a fan, Chuck. <laughs> oh. Redoing rooms will be fun and chain and challenging, but the end results will be off. Exactly. It's gonna yes. it's gonna take a little time, but um yeah, it's gonna I mean to redo the entire house will probably take a couple years. But I wanted to start with the kids' rooms just because it just give them a whole new fresh look and give them a feel of kind of restarting because um we moved here. I inherited this house and this property. So when we moved here, you know, nothing was set up the way you know, we wanted it, you know, it's they all. had a bathroom kind of set up for me that already had a, you know, an old person or <laughs> handicapped person bar grab in the <laughs> best bathroom so you could use your arms to lift you out of the tub. So uh, I, I kind of needed that. Yeah. So we're just trying to make it new and just kind of just really turn it into ours and make sure the kids have their rooms the way they want them before they get too old. Yes. And I want to do the bathroom first. I get some more antlers. After the after the kids' room. Yeah, after the kids' room. So I do the bathroom and the kitchen dining room area. My first fan, he says. Yay! Oh my god, that was loud <laughs> in my ear. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Hello, Chuck. Chuck, are you wearing that jean jacket? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> wow. The beard is just a great the shade of white today. It is. <laughs> she said, so I still long. can't believe since you moved on to the farm. I know. Yeah. It's been four years now. I it'll think be almost four, four years. I think it'll be here. four years this this summer. Yeah, but it was well, crazy because we weren't expecting to move and we were actually in the middle of buying a house in Edgerton. And it was like a very pretty big house mm -hmm. for the bedrooms. Five bedrooms with a sunroom and uh nice you know nice garage attached you know this and that but it, that itself was an old house as well but when we moved it was like oh my god we got to move we got to move now and mm -hmm. it was just it was chaotic. we didn't we didn't get to plan anything it was just move all of our stuff from one house to another to another so, house that was already completely furnished furnished so we had to move everything we basically had two houses into one mm -hmm. which also has a lot to do with the pile on that side other than mm -hmm. the storage unit stuff there's also two couches back there from and one place. of them came from our old house. So Yeah, and like when we moved out of there, I burnt a ton of our furniture in the backyard just to get rid of it because I wasn't we didn't have nowhere to put it. Mm -hmm. It was just it impossible. It was like my, my move all of our furnishings when, when the, the place is completely furnished, furnished already. Mm -hmm. Like there's no reason to bring silverware. There's and no reason to bring dishes. And no that was before bring... we started reselling. Yeah. So I wouldn't have even have thought to sell like, you know, the couches and stuff locally, but we we could have, but I didn't even think about it. Oh no, I don't own a jean jacket. No. <laughs> uh, I, I was reaching for that one a little bit. Oh, jean jacket, jacket, sexy. Yeah, I don't know. I think I they just, are. I was just trying. To be, I, I, I was just trying to be creepy. That's honestly, all. a guy in a jean jacket. I'm down. So you like Jeff? I mean, no. <laughs> And my mom's husband always wears a jean he jacket. He does always wear a jean jacket. Like, always. You got to be, like, closer to my age. He's, he looks like a really skinny version of Donald Trump. Cobra Kai! You have your shirt on. Yes. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Yeah. Yes. You can't see it. Yeah. Cobra I got Kai. that one for him at Walmart. Yeah. I was like, oh, look at that. Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. And she always buys Cobra stuff Kai. for me because I'll never buy anything for myself. No, not when it comes to like clothes, shoes, and things that you need. He does not buy mm -hmm. at all. Just I'm still wearing clothes from high school that are too small. <laughs> we already discussed this. If your belly shows, it's too small. I'm bringing back the belly shirt, y'all. Right underneath the pecs, you know. Oh boy. The the half tees. 
I found a bunch of half tees at a garage sale the other day. <laughs> a teenager had cut them all in half, and they were such cool shirts. Yeah, they, they were, were all vintage shirts. Yeah, like, and I'm like, oh, my the... God, these shirts are destroyed. Yeah. But I did grab one. Mr. Potato had one, and it was cut in half, so it goes right underneath, my, or right above my belly. Right underneath and, uh, the makers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it says hot potato on it. <laughs> so I did grab that one, but I told the guy, I said, I can't pay $5 for a shirt that's cut in half. So he gave it to me for a dollar. <laughs> uh, we need to separate. You should. <laughs> yes, I do too. They have the best ones. Like the women's section sucks. Yeah, the men's have all the awesome shirts. Just tell people you're a belly dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they want to see all that. I do. Uh, what was it supposed to be after you hit like 500 subscribers? Yeah, no, after I hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah, no, I, it wasn't a thousand. Yeah, Five hundred. Like, I was gonna, I was gonna ride the snowmobile, snowmobile in with, the winter, in the winter, in a thong, in a thong. And I'm gonna record it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are not subscribed to his channel, go subscribe to it. We gotta get him up to 500. So by this winter, he can do that. Mm -hmm. Either a snowmobile, the four wheeler, whatnot, whatever. One of them. <laughs> one of the snowmobiles. I don't even know what snowmobiles we'll have by then because I'm looking at them right now. Oh, wait. Hold on. What? Because we're looking to buy snowmobiles. Half tees are hot right now? Are they really? Like ones that you make yourself or like ones that, you know what I mean, that you would get at the store that are supposed to be like that? You think you could sell a half of a shirt? I don't know. I didn't even think it. One t-shirt and one sweatshirt from high school. I have a couple. I have a few. Mine few. don't really fit anymore. I have some pants. You do? He has some really cool Jinkos. Yeah, and some really cool kickwares. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can fit them, though. But I have them. Yeah, they are really and cool. And those are something that would probably go for some money. I see people selling that retro stuff. People buy them new and crop them. Oh, Wow. Look on Poshmark. I'm definitely going to do that. I would have never thought. Why would I subscribe to see that? <laughs> Chris. <laughs> it is so funny. My peers like half shirts called crop tops custom made. I'd also cool because it gives you a DIY feel. I guess I didn't even think about it that way, guys. You don't need to be wearing crop top shirts. Now I kind of wish I would have got that box. No. Because, no, she said her peers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish I would because there was a bunch of vintage tees in there, but they were just all cut, so I didn't even think about it. I sold crop t-shirts, yeah. Yeah, but it's still going to be one of, the, one of the proudest days of my life coming up here is when your first kid graduates. Yep, I was on about it's, earlier. It's going to be, like, I'm so excited for you. Yay, Victoria. Yeah. Or Tori, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. sorry. I have my letter, Letterman jacket, wool from 1985. That's awesome. And all of YouTube would suffer. <laughs> if only plumbers' cracks were cool. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I think that people appreciate that you edit those out nowadays. And you put a little blur over that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I had my butt on camera. I think I'm one of the last videos. <laughs> you <ain't> bent over. <laughs> yeah, like so. Instead of having all the attention on my butt while I was changing something on the lawnmower, I put a little, little subscribe dancing dude over it. So people <laughs> didn't your have butt to crack. Stare <laughs> <laughs> so I try to edit things over. Can I tell him about your pee problem? Oh yeah, go ahead. It's been plenty of time. If you watch okay. one of our old videos. So, oh no, I re-edited it. So okay. about a year ago, we I was had. Like, oh my god. We had got we were doing storage units and um Mike had to pee and he didn't say anything. He yeah, didn't yeah. he didn't leave the storage unit. I did, I did, I did, I did, he didn't I did. tell me he had to pee. So I was sitting there recording the whole time and he's grabbing his junk. I told her. And I and I went I had didn't even realize it. I'm going through storage unit boxes. We're in the storage unit facility. I had no idea until I got home and started yeah, I trying to pick editing. I started editing the footage, no, and all she, of a sudden, she edited every... the footage and then made the video. I made the video. And and I... I watched the video, and I was like, "We can't air this." I posted it live <laughs> on YouTube, and he was grabbing his junk, and I was like, "Oh my god, Mike, what were you doing?" He's like, "I had to pee." I told With you a I camera had to pee. on you. I told you I had to pee. And so I took the video down and edited, 
edit it out and put it back up. But oh my gosh, I, I couldn't believe that he did that. Like I told him next time, just go freaking pee. Well, there was no... He was like a little kid trying to hold it in. Yeah, there was no facility in the storage locker area. And then it was COVID time. So there was no, and this was in Madison. If we would have been out like somewhere else, I just peed on the side of the building or at the truck. But <clears throat> we're in Madison. There's a bunch of people around. I had nowhere to pee. So I had to like leave to go pee somewhere. And yeah, so Ooh. I just kind of kept pinching it off when it tried coming out. Oh my God, you're so dumb. Also, if you're selling Carhartt shirts and such, use the word shack it shack as it, a huh? keyword. Search it on eBay and be prepared to be amazed. Or there wow. was a bunch of Carhartt Hold on. I'm looking this right now. Well, you can look, I can talk. Go right? ahead, I'm just saying. Okay, there was some Carhartt shackets I was looking at buying, but right now is the time for you guys who are like me to start looking for snowmobiles. No one's like you, you're weird. Got to buy snowmobiles right now. Right now. Because you can get them for very cheap. I've actually been looking at pairs of snowmobiles right now for like four or five hundred dollars. I should probably talk to the guy down about three fifty or something that run. Which I can sell for about four or five hundred dollars a piece when the season comes. I mean, if they run and drive, you can get three, four, five hundred dollars a piece for them. So I mean that's also a good thing for you guys if you are Am I not doing it right? I don't see anything coming up. Hold on. Go ahead. I'm talking to myself. Whatever right. you're talking about. Jason's coming! Wah, wah. Oh, there we go. What up, buddy? Oh, I'm not just chilling on a live. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I had the quad running before I even had the rest of the parts for it. Shack it top shirt. That is. I've never heard shack it before. Yeah, it was kind of sputtering. Yeah, there's funky, some good funky, comps funky, on here, though. It's still kind of sputtering funky, but I think i got to cut the coil wire back oh, a little bit more. Those. And uh, sand down the top of the spark plug because I forgot I had a little bit of rust on it. Can you get off the phone, please? I'm just on a <laughs> No. Hold on. They got a question for you, though. And that's the, What's the question for me? <laughs> a serious question. What's the question? What's a serious question? If you hold it in, does it stop you from having to pee? No, you still have to pee. So you sit like, dancey, 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 dancey. I was doing like a potty dance the whole video. Yeah, but uh, the spark plug got a little bit of rust. Sneaky on leaker. The yeah, exactly. You plug it in because I've had that all disconnected all winter. So, I mean, it might. So, are you talking about like these, these shirts here? That's what came up. I mean, there's some decent comps on here. Right? That sounds funny. I've never heard that before. Top shop black leather jacket shack it. $84. Sold. What did you say they were though? They were Carhartt, right? Or anything like that? Is that what you said? Carhartt shirts, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That is just crazy. Good to know. Learning new stuff today. I like it. Huh. That's cool. No snowmobiles in Los Angeles. No, probably not. Los Angeles, man. I couldn't imagine living in a big city like that. You're in Los Angeles, Jonathan? For some reason, I thought you were somewhere else. Yeah, there was. There was a ton. It's crazy. So many different ones. Really cool. That was really cool. It's good to know. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? We're just hanging out. Not doing anything important. I'm supposed to be listening, but... Well, I was kind of just taking a break from work this morning, but I should be listening, and I haven't listed anything yet. <coughs> I was in the middle of one. 
I think I dropped it. What are you up to? I did 12, no. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Does Nevaeh want mice? No, because mom says no. I don't know about that, Tori. I, I don't know if I would want mice in the house. That seems, uh, that, I don't know. <laughs> I bet you do have too many. Me? I should do one? I got lots of stuff back there. I know my son's teacher is going to be here at noon. I got to sign some paperwork. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I honestly, uh, the whole reason I kind of came on YouTube this morning is I, I've been feeling kind of down the last couple days. And I just kind of thought it would, uh, it would kind of help just to chat with you guys and just, I like woke up and I like wasn't even awake yet. I drank, I grabbed my first cup of coffee and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go randomly live and see what happens. And, uh, it definitely makes me feel better to come on and chat with you guys and not really have a, not really have a plan. I think I overstressed myself with all my plans and everything having to be perfect. I try to make everything perfect and then I fail. So then I get stressed out. But, um, I put some tunes on a list, otherwise I'll get distracted. I know, see, that's how I am. I have to, I'll, I can't be distracted while I'm working, otherwise it doesn't happen. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, so I just, yeah, I just felt kind of, the last couple of days. And I'm like, I normally I would be up sourcing um, Thursday mornings. But my son had some tooth pain last night, so we ended up keeping him home today. And I said, well, you know what? Everybody's just going to take the day off and get back to it tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be an amazing day because we got our collab. Video game soundtracks, really? That's really cool. I like that. I've never heard that. Yes, thank you. Just just the last couple days, just been, yeah, in that funk. It's, nah, it happens sometimes. I think a lot of it does have to do with my anxiety, but it's okay. I don't think I've ever went on YouTube and talked about it, so hey, now you guys know. It's all right. It happens sometimes. Everybody has rough days. If there's lyrics, I cannot focus. Yeah, see, I like, um, I listen to Ryan Upchurch and Demon Jones, um, what you would call country rap, is what I listen to, and that's kind of my, my escape. When I listen to my music, I can, I can work, I can concentrate, so even if there's lyrics, I usually do pretty good with it. Jalapeno inspired store. I went to one in Mexico and bought this lipstick this morning. I used it all. The only in Cali. Hmm. I must have missed what you guys were talking about. Oh, okay. You were asking because he's in Cali. My days are all rainbows and unicorns. Yay! Rainbows and unicorns. Yeah, I only got about a half an hour left, and then I got to meet with Chevy's teacher because he's having trouble reading and writing, and Mike's dyslexic, so we've been doing, like, different tests and stuff on him, and they are going to check to see if he's dyslexic, and hopefully we can start getting him you know where he should be. We can pinpoint the problem, and... Because he'll be going into fourth grade next year, and he still can't read or write. And we've tried so hard to to get him to do it, and he just gets so frustrated so fast. 
and it it just makes them makes them you know really frustrated. I guess just kind of almost angry because I think he's so upset that he can't do it. There you go. And I didn't think he would, but you never know. With Mike being dyslexic, he could be. Might as well get him checked. Um, yeah, I am still on Snapchat. I just don't have it. Um, on my phone right now, because I just got a new phone. Um, two days. I, I, I broke my phone on Mother's Day. I fell off the, um four-wheeler and I landed right on my phone and I broke it so I do still have it I just gotta download the app again and get logged in before I started watching YouTube lives I always have music on when I work that is more productive for me but this way is funner and I have the potential to learn stuff exactly I've been listening to a lot of lives and watching a lot of videos like I'll let my watch later videos just play in the background. I did that yesterday while I was taking pictures and you know, I can't remember all the videos that I watched, but I just like I liked listening to you guys's you guys's videos and I I learned stuff and so that was kind of nice. Hey, Kane, how are you doing? No, did I say that right? Mm. I just spilled my coffee. How are you today? What are you guys up to? Oh, thank you, Chuck. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I used to always say that funner. Like, funner is not a word, but yet it's so much funner to say. I like saying funner. It's the best not word. Oh, my coffee is getting really cold. I'm going to have to get some more. Mike's on the phone, though, and he'll take an hour on the phone. That's why I told him to go. He will sit and talk on the phone forever. I finally got one thing listed, I think. Wait, no, did I draft it or did I list it? Dang it, I drafted it. I wasn't done with it yet. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Nice. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Just hanging out. I woke up this morning and grabbed my coffee and I was like, I just want to go live and hang out. What's up? All right. Later, bro. Yeah, we're just hanging out. Went through a bag of plush earlier. Ooh, snap. What does she say here? Victoria, I'm fine still. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking more fun about it, but I wouldn't think it was too much dumber. <laughs> okay, I can call her either, she says. Yeah, she did say that. Okay. Is that where you left off at? What, me? Yeah. No, I was. she texted me. Oh, she texted me. <laughs> yeah, because she knew I wasn't probably on the screen anymore. And now she just sent me a picture. Yeah, so I got a buddy of mine. He's had a snowmobile out here. He really hasn't had a lot of time to work on it. How could you send that to me? It's a snake. Yeah. What the heck? She's got snakies. I thought it was going to be mice, but it's a snake. Yeah, she sent it to me, too. Oopsie. This is what Tori just sent me. Picture of her snake. Yep, that is awesome. I used to have snakes. I used to love snakes. She does not want a snake no. or spiders or anything like that. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, I got the phone with my buddy, and he's had a snowmobile uh, he's been tinkering around with a little bit out here for the last couple of years. And he really doesn't have any time. He never gets over here to work on it or do anything with it. So I'm pretty sure he's about done, ready to give up on it, so he gave me the okay to sell it. What's that? I missed what you were saying. Uh, Joe's snowmobile. He's like had it out here oh. for like the last two years, and he's only had like three or four days total in the last two years to come try to work on it. The only thing he's done is been able to bring parts over here. And say, I'm going to try to work on it one of these days. And he really hasn't ever had too much time to come work on it. So you're just going to sell so it? So I'm just going to sell it for him. Yeah. Well, it comes with an extra motor and a bunch of extra other parts. And it runs and drives. It just bogs out when you start getting going. 
and he just i told him you know i'm not just gonna fix it for you know enough i've worked on it for free for him many and many and many times and i think if you get into it and you want to do it yourself i try to teach people and if they don't you know you can teach a horse to drink water but if it doesn't drink water you can't you know it's not your fault <laughs> if it doesn't so, drink water it's not your fault yeah if it dies of you know thirst <laughs> being dehydrated it's its own damn fault for not continuing to drink water I yeah. showed him how to drink water. It's... She's not beautiful, Victoria. <laughs> she is beautiful. Chuck's got to mow the lawn. Okay, we'll be here for a little bit Get her done, Chuck. We'll be here for a little bit longer. See you in a minute, Tori. Um, yeah, but now I get I'll to probably sell... be off before Chevy's teacher gets here. I though. get to sell a snowmobile and keep some money. So I told him it's not going to sell right away because it's not the time to sell them. We have to wait till a month or so before winter, right. and then we'll post it up and you know, list all the goodies and everything it comes with and make it a deal. And it'll sell right before winter. Yeah. Yeah, he only wants like 500 back mm. on it, so I'll make a good, you know, two, three, 400 bucks off it. I need a banana. Ooh, you know you're on camera. <laughs> you're funny and gross. You're gross. What are you thinking? <laughs> I was just saying you might have some weirdos out there. You might not want to eat a banana on the live stream. That's all. Why? What's wrong with you? I'm just looking out for you. I'm just, I want a banana. I'm hungry. Gross. Yes, we will be on later too. We'll be in the chat. I'm going to make sure I don't fall asleep. I've been doing much better. I've been staying up and going to chat. Yeah, because we've been watching hoarders. Or animal hoarders. Yeah, I've been watching. Disgusting. Uh, we've been watching <sighs> hoarder shows that's keeping me very entertained at night. So I've been able to stay awake longer and jump into more chats lately. So. Like, why do you need 85 cats? This is crazy. Animal hoarders are freaking ah! nuts. This one people had 150 cats. No, they got rid of 150, 163 cats and was left with 85. Oh, really? Yeah, they got rid of 163 and they kept 85. How do you have 85 freaking cats in How your do house? you keep 85? And this poor girl, she was not like a poor girl, but like this girl, she was um, living with her spouse and her spouse was the hoarder. And she was a reseller, so she had to do everything in her power to keep the clutter and the animals away from all of her inventory yeah, she had and stuff one room, like that. One room that looked amazing is like awesome. Look at all them toys on the walls, all those action figures, all she that had, cool stuff, and it was all set up really nice. Desk, you know, all the inventory box stuff, all the boxes, real nice, everything organized in that one room. Mm -hmm. But man, the rest of the house was, was about four inches was of feces, cat poop, and pee everywhere. And they had dogs and cats. I couldn't and imagine birds and horses and having dogs. eighty-five no, geese, cats running around geese. my inventory room. Like, oh my god, that's that's nuts. I couldn't sell any of the products because the people who got them would die. Right. What do we have planned for lunch today? You know what? We haven't even Stop ate. talking about food. <laughs> we haven't even breakfast. ate breakfast yet. Like, we are so behind today. We're Victoria just... probably just went and got some food. She probably did. <laughs> if you need something quick, go to meal. Banana. <laughs> Banana. Banana. I like no. little tiny meals, little snacks. I don't. I like full meals. Okay, screw it. The music, you guys are more entertaining. Ah, thanks so much. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to, good to hear. I'm glad. Yes. I'm trying. Another reason I decided to do um, a random live is because I'm working on my watch hours, and I kind of honestly feel like YouTube's kind of screwing me over. And I, on you. And I don't want to complain as a small YouTuber, but I've been over my 1,000 subscribers for quite a while and people are constantly telling me they're not getting notifications and um, my watch hours haven't moved in two months and you can't tell me from the lives that I've done and the videos that I upload each week I'm not getting any watch hours like I can see if you go into my analytics I can see okay so this video got this many watch hours this live got this many watch hours but when I go to my actual monetization where they show the watch hours it doesn't move it's been like two months and it doesn't move. So I'm pretty, I'm kind of just frustrated with YouTube all together at this point. But since I love you guys, I'm going to keep doing it and I'm going to keep, keep doing lives and keep doing garage sale videos and giveaways and all that good stuff. But if yeah. you guys are ever bored and you want to just run my playlist, I don't know if that would help. Yeah, feel free. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. There's one that says watch hours and it has every single video on it. 
Yeah, I gotta do that with mine because my last video got like a whole whopping 19 views. Yeah, but you only have like <laughs> 80 subscribers. Yeah, I know. 32 watch hour, 3200 watch hours, and 800 subs. That's awesome. See, that's exactly what it should look mm -hmm. like. And for some reason, things are just not adding up. I have studied the analytics over and over, and something's just not adding up correctly. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. Yes, and I got another video I got to make here. We got to get the footage off of that GoPro before tomorrow. Either way. Oh, my footage, yeah. And, I gotta, well, and my footage, because we only got a half hour left on the GoPro. I know, we have to. And I got a video I got to make. My next video is going to be due to diagnosing on a quad. Uh, no spark issues. So if any of you guys out there have a quad and you want to figure out how to make it spark again and get some power going to it and drive it around. Wait, hold on a second. That's what my next video is going to be. Lady Lord, you've been at 1,200 for the last four months. That's And see, that's not, there's absolutely no way because I know for a fact that I've watched your videos. So <laughs> why isn't your watch hours moving? That's, yeah, that's, that's weird. There's something's going on and... I'm thinking about waiting a little bit longer, and I'm then I might try to contact YouTube because something's just not right. I can see the hours, so why aren't they moving? Yeah, and I can see people watching. Yeah, they're watching. There's like, a bunch of watchers out there. You know, not obviously not all my videos do as good as well as you know do as well as other videos, and that's gonna happen. We're small YouTubers, you know, but I can see when it tells me this this video made you let's say ten hours or something. Then I should get my 10 hours. Yeah, you should. Got any food down here? I have no food down here. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. It's like it's just stuck and it's not going to move. For a few months, and they were asked their subs to play the videos in the background on a playlist, and it helped. Yeah. Mm hmm So... But I love you guys, and I love being on YouTube, and I love all the friends and family that I've made on this platform. So no matter what, an actual it's... family have on the platform. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so no matter what, I'm not I'm not gonna go anywhere. I love making videos. I love my you might be a reseller if Mondays, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop doing it. So. No, and I'm like the supporting force behind her. She gets kind of frustrated from time to time, but I keep telling her that she love it. It's something that you do. Yep. So just keep at it. Yep. No matter what, I just I'll keep continue to look at it as a hobby and. Yep. You know. And I'm gonna keep doing it too, even though I probably annoy some people. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it up. Yes, hours do fall off after the 365 days. Yeah, I did do that. So like a couple months ago, I knew that I was kind of at that point, and so I knew I would lose some. But now it just seems like it's not doing anything, and that's what's got me puzzled. I'm not sure. What about the toilet mug? We got another one. We actually did get we another, got another one. I couldn't believe Jonathan and bought the toilet mug. Does anyone else want the toilet mug? Because we have another one. <laughs> this one was not in as good of shape. But, um, yeah, Jonathan got the good one. I think that one was in but a much still better. Drink out of the toilet. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, those mugs are so funny. What did Tori say? I ordered food last night to arrive. Oh, that's right. Yeah. To arrive in the morning. So that it would be there when she woke up. Oh, Isn't that crazy? No, no, no. Watch hours are no joke. Takes forever. Yeah. You're a little it, turd. It really does. It's I, it's all right. I'm not going to let it discourage me too much and going to keep pushing it. Hey, Tori, you're such a little turd. When you sit in the sandbox, cats try to bury you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you hear what your father just said to you? <laughs> yeah. Should have said the address was wrong. It's supposed to be here. Send your dad food. For sure. For Hi, sure. Ella. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> but give me a warning for my dogs don't eat the people bringing the food up. <laughs> Jonathan says it's his favorite mug. Awesome. That's awesome. I love it. So cool. I still want to get Amber one of those uh, coffee cups. <laughs> Never heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, you used to hear that one all the time. I used to tell it to you all the time when you were a little girl. Yeah, he's been saying that one for years. That's my just... one cheesy dad joke. It's that and what kind of cheese is not yours? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah. There was a couple other cheesy dad jokes that I heard that I'm going to start using that I've liked. But, yeah, that's, like, my go-to is you're such a little turd. 
when you sit in the sandbox the cats try to bury you <laughs> that was which movie is that from the campaign campaign oh my god hilarious yes. i love will ferrell though so <laughs> anything with will ferrell i'm i'm into so what'd you order since i'm already starving i thought we weren't talking about food i don't know i'm gonna make some i'm gonna go get my banana I'm gonna go eat me some sausage croissants. Sausage croissants? Yeah. Some sausage, egg and cheese, or sausage and cheese croissants. I need to find a pen. Okay, good. I got one for when the teacher gets here. I can just. um, Well, the teacher's coming here. I didn't tell you. I did tell them. You did tell me. No, why she's coming? No, you didn't tell me. Because they're going to probably check them for dyslexia. No, this is why. I talked to her this morning. Because he's writing um, his letters backwards. Yeah. So it's it's a That's good... something that all kids do. I know. But not going into fourth grade. So <sighs> he'll be fine. He's going to he'll get through it. We got this. Yeah, I just don't want him having to deal with the problems I've had to deal with. But that's okay. It's, if he is, it's okay. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it's it. It's not the easiest trying to go through the world having dyslexia. The Out Country Tales Watch Out playlist is over 24 hours long. I didn't even know that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Wow. That's very informative. <laughs> I didn't even know that. That's great. Woo-hoo! Yes. Go play. Yeah. I just counted since I started only like five months ago. Yeah. I started five months ago. Was it? Something no. like that. Four or five months ago. Something like that. I just counted my videos and I got 20. So I figured that was a pretty good number for. Because that's like about one. And I haven't done any lives yet. So I'm going to probably start doing some live from the shop. Live from the shop. Tori says she used to do her letters backwards too. I still mess up B's and D's. But it will get better once he's able to do typing and not writing. I hope so. I think. I I have severe dyslexia. I mess up all my letters. Like, I say some really whack stuff when I try to read something off of signs or commercials or anything. Yeah, so if he ever says um, anything weird in a chat. Or if I'm trying to read your stuff and I can't read it, it's because (laughs) I can't read. I I had to tell him that he had to slow down and read because we were in a chat and he was, like, not making sense. And I'm like, no one's going to understand what you're saying. Because I'm trying to make sense of what's going on. (laughs) But I can do math very, uh, I'm very good in math and all that good stuff. I just saw something. I'm not into football, but I just saw something on this about Facebook the other day. Go Rogers. So isn't there something about um? Barf. No. Um. Oh my gosh. Crying about their millions of dollars. No, I'm trying to think of what it said. Just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of what it said now. Something about um. Will he win again if he depends on where he's placed? I don't know. I don't know enough about sports. Never mind. I tried. I don't know. I think he should stick with the Packers. Packers would like help him out, what made him out. But I also understand, Thanks, you know, Cajun. it's like taking a better job. You know. Stopping in to say hi. Hello, hello, hello. I, right. know, I seen you yesterday on your live. We did. We were there last night. Yep, with you and Peanut. Yep. Peanut. And, yeah. Have you even subscribed to Peanut yet? Yeah, I think so. I don't think you have. You better get on it. I'm still trying to figure Lunch out the workings of right. the inner lines. Bye. Bye. I'm trying to still figure out the workings of the on the online, the yeah. inner lines. He's not webs. good with it yet. He'll get there. The interwebs. He'll get there. I, I don't. I just type the channels in for him, and then I tell she, him to she subscribe. Takes, she, she does mine. I try to, and I, I have to ask her. I'm like, I'm not subscribing these people. Can you do it for me? <laughs> One of, these days, the phone, like, one of these days, he'll figure see, it out. It, I don't have to, because it's like the same thing. You, you can't, like, I don't, you know, because, well, I keep saying that, too, but every time I have to fix the car or fix the lawnmower or fix something like that or fix the heater or fix the fix the something to do with any kind of mechanics, and I'm like, I try to teach you, and you're like, I don't want to hear about that stuff, and you walk away. So when you, you're like, <laughs> it's broken, fix it. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So I fix it, and I don't tell her that she should have to fix it. I just, when she doesn't know how to fix or something, she just gives it to me and I just do it. So when I don't know how to do that, you know, I just say, hey, you just, just, just do it. That's, I think it should go work as like a team. I do do it for you. Yeah. And that's that. See, I'm not going to learn it. I'm just going to be like, fix it. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> it is 65 right now. Yeah. It's nice. It's nicer outside than <gasps> in here. So that's why I said, I'm going to have to get outside. And I wish I had some charcoal. Because if I had some charcoal, out. 
I would make some steaks. Well, after Chevy's teacher gets here, which is about 15 minutes, so actually I should probably end this live. I want to make some steaks. I got those we can go get steaks. some charcoal, and um, that's steaks. a good lunch plan. We'll go get some charcoal. Since we're kind of taking the day off anyways. Some steaks and some mm -hmm. shrimp. We should pick up some shrimp, too. Uh, I like... Because I could put butter. I like shrimp, but not that kind of shrimp. Oh, that's right. You don't. You like the breaded shrimp. You don't like the good shrimp. Mm -mm, I do not. I like the big jumbo shrimp. I like the big, huge suckers, the little round sea guys, and you put a whole bunch of butter, some lemon, some lemon on them, and some garlic, and you wrap it up in tin foil, and you throw that bad boy on the grill, and once you start snapping and popping real loud, and just smelling too good, you unwrap that, and you got the best, best shrimp ever. But I love cooking on the grill. <laughs> I cook everything from lobster tail. So like eggs and bacon and everything on the mm -hmm. grill. Charcoal I grill. love um, grilled food. Burger. What was it? Omelet burgers? Oh my God, it's 85 there. Yeah. Oh, boy. I wish. It'll be about 80 next week, no, though. No, I like like 60. I like 70s. 80s is getting a little warm for me. Especially if I'm supposed to ride my riding gear. Oh, yeah. And we have to start year. opening our garage sale next week. Yeah. Well, we so got to get those gonna... cleaned out. Well, we're opening one of the tents up, and we're taking a bunch of junk out of there from some storage units. Probably going to end up getting rid of a lot of it. I say, if we end up, I think we and should. And then we're going to set up a huge garage sale. I really think we should move those tents to the other side of the driveway horseshoe, where I can cut those trees down and then move them back. You do what you want. But we have to empty the tents before I can move them. Because they're big. They're like week. the big 10 by 20s that are anchored into the ground and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. But we really should get off because Chevy's teacher is going to be 90s. here soon. 90s so. next week. Holy cow, girl. Hey, we sell or I can send you if you really, if you need a, we sell these little cool things. They're like personal air conditioners. They're portable air conditioners. You can bring them with you wherever you want to go. Do we still have some? I thought we did. I kept buying them. Did I sell? I don't know if I sold the last one or not. I don't know. If we still have one, baby, I could try to send you one for a graduation <laughs> present if you want one. They're really nifty. The pool at my apartment is open for limited oh, hours and capacity. Mind. That's good. Down never here mind. in the south, it's already way too hot. Yeah. I know it's crazy. It's only 65 right now, and you guys are just sweating over there. All right. We should get off, though. Thanks so much for hanging out. I think mean, I feel better. Yep. Yes. That's why I love being in Wisconsin. Now that people complain about all the cold and this and that and other, but guess what? <laughs> we get that from us. Oh, my God. You drive what? me nuts. Good. Someone's got to. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. I better get going and doing something. Yeah, because some I'm going to starve and wither away before. And we should probably eat. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat something before. Maybe I'll do this again. It was fun to just kind of hang out and just talk to you guys. Not really have a plan on what we're doing, but just to sit and chat. So Yeah, I'll next, do it. Next time I'm listening yeah. or packing, maybe I'll, I'll jump on. And yes. We're doing our first collab tomorrow. Woo! So I can't wait for you guys to see who we are collabing with. And then the next garage sale video I should have out by Saturday. So, all right, guys. And I'll tomorrow we'll later. make sure to stock up on Red Bull. Red Bull? Yes. Yeah, so oh, when yeah. we're out, we don't have to <laughs> bring everyone to the gas station or something to get Red Bull. Right. We'll, we'll just bring them on. I've got to bring a cooler. A cooler. A cooler. I go bring a cooler. Wednesdays, I should do these. Okay. Yes, you should. I will. I will try to do it next week. As long as you're gonna be there. You'll be there. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Love y'all. Bye. Bye, Victoria.